Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am using the Smashbox, 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 not Smashbox, Smashbox plus Vlada. So maybe it is Smashbox if I'm really combining the two. So I'm using the Smashbox Vlada collection to create this high look. So at first I was like, eh, I mean it's pretty, but we'll see. So I, you know, the first thing I unveiled was this little palette here. I opened it up and then I was like, oh, it's so tiny for the, for the price that you get. Hmm. And it's, oh, it's got so many shimmers in it, but I really need some more mattes. So I wasn't, you know, as I opened it up with as tiny as it is, look how tiny, it's so tiny. It, you know, it was underwhelming for me. I think the packaging is absolutely adorable. Absolutely adorable. And I can't figure out why this didn't come out when the, the real big rose gold craze is. So it's like a year and a half late. Maybe, I don't know, maybe not that long, maybe longer. But guess what, y'all? So I created this eye look. And I really like it. I do wish that there was at least one more matte, I will not lie. Maybe one of these could have been more of a matte color versus just this one here and this one here, but it created a really pretty eye. So I did use um, most of the colors, probably six out of the eight. I really liked how I transitioned these. This is closer to the brown, which you'll see. This kind of hit the middle and then this hit the inner corner. And I really liked how pretty the look was. So I was like, oh, you kind of talk down in your mind to smash blocks and now you like it so then this is oh my gosh if this isn't the most gorgeous packaging you've ever seen i don't know what is but this is absolutely stunning and so you open it up and it's even more beautiful on the inside so i really kind of had a hard time using it because look at the little rose pattern like I didn't want my rose to be messed up so that's the really neat thing about you know the packaging is stunning on the outside but then you open it on the inside and it is stunning so I did use the highlighter on the cheeks so my cheeks are popping and then I used the lippies so this one is the Smashbox plus Vlada and this color is in in bloom I really like this color I when I ordered it I was like ah eh, I don't know that I'm gonna like that color it just I don't know I was worried that it would be a little too red I don't know I just wasn't like I wasn't feeling it when I ordered it and then I get it and I'm like ooh, I feel this color and so then I get over to this Be Legendary Petal Metal Liquid Lip and I realized I already have this almost exact same color that's in Smashbox minus Blotta. Haha, <laughs> little joke there, little joke there. Minus Blotta because Kelly Strack loved that color and her lips always look beautiful so I bought the Smashbox one that Kelly Strack always used. Literally this one, if it's not an exact dupe, is only a hair of a pigmentation off from the other one. And I do keep the other one in my purse because if I'm going out after dinner or excuse me, after work and I just need a pop of pretty color and I want some kind of a satiny yet metallic glow, if that makes sense, probably not, but we'll use it, then <laughs> This is the one I go for, but be careful because you can get it on your teeth, obviously. All right. Not sure how long that was sitting there, but you know, hey, what can I say? So anyways, I, I really do like these colors. This one I was not impressed with since it's like they only put Vlada on the, the bottle of some of the ones they probably already had in storage. I don't know. But overall, how do I feel about this collection? How about that? How do I feel about this collection? It was actually a, quite a surprise to me. Again, you kind of heard my my feelings on the in the beginning. I was like, eh, you know, we'll try it. But I really like it, y'all. I I was really shocked that the colors 
went on so well and I've got blue eyes and I feel like maybe my blue eyes are popping I don't know I don't know but it feels that way but yeah the rose golden colors or the rosy co colors in this this collection is absolutely gorgeous so you know when I went in I probably was going in with maybe a six I think I might have to come out with a 10 on this one. The packaging is stunning. The products work really well. They're beautiful. So way to go, Smashbox. Um, the only thing, you know, again, the price for the, the eye palette, I was a little shocked about for the size. But, I mean, it's absolutely stunning. So anyways, if you want to see how I created this eye look, then you're in the right spot, so stay tuned. Okay, so we're gonna use this Smashbox Blotta palette to do this side on this side. And let's see how all these Smashbox Blotta pieces, parts go. So what I did was I started basically using this color here, which is called Coffee Blossom. And you don't need a whole lot, as I quickly found out. It's pretty pigmented, so I'm going to be a little more careful on this side than I was when I started. Now, if you love the rose gold colors, this is this is going to be your palette. This is going to be it. I wish this palette would have been out about a year and a half ago when the rose golds were like the jam. That would have been nice. Now I'm going to pick up, I'm sorry, that must have been called Nude Rose. I hate when these things are backwards. Uh, this will be Coffee Blossom. So I'm using Coffee Blossom in the crease and kind of working its way up. Just soften that line a little bit. There we go. I did take a bit of this color here. I think it's called Fresh Stem. To go on the inner corner. And a little bit up underneath the brow. Okay, next I tried to prepare for a semi-cut crease. And that is definitely not the color. Not the color. Unless I'm going to do my brows. So next what I did was I tried to use these three colors down here. So I took this color here, which is floral support. And I kind of did these colors in thirds. So floral support I have going into the brown. Then I picked up the next color here, which is called Rose Quartz. For that next piece. And then I took one, two, three, four, Rose, Rose Rock. The very inside. So I'm making it kind of go lighter to darker. And then what I basically had all over the, uh, on the brush, I went ahead and swept underneath my eye to give it a bit of a start of a smoky look, of course. Of course. In the inner waterline, I did use my Marc Jacobs and Earthquake.
and I picked up a nice little pencil brush, went back in with the color Coffee Blossom. On the top line, I'm using the Italia Deluxe Dip It Eyeliner that's water resistant. I got that from Shop Hush. And then I'm going to apply some Double Deca Mascara. Okay, so that completes the Vlada eye look. So I wasn't, when I looked at the size of the palette, I was like, oh, that's what I got. It's so tiny. Because you get spoiled when you get larger palettes. I, you know, wasn't sure when I first looked and saw all the shimmers and only two mattes. I wish they would have had one more, this one, and at least a matte, or one more matte. Two mattes in an eight palette just doesn't seem enough but I did like I ended up really liking these three colors here that kind of went from light to dark so when I first saw the palette online loved it got it in I was like uh, not sure but now I really like it so if you like the rose gold colors this is a great palette and for whatever reason these colors are making my blue eyes go hello sunshine and I did want to deepen a bit of the edges and it did not have a black, which is, you know, fun because who doesn't have enough blacks in their other palettes, right? So I'm going to pick up the MAC Times 9 Metal. And I just wanted to put a wee bit right there. Not going crazy, just a little bit on the edge so it just darkens up right above where the eyeliner finished. And I didn't do a wing. Um, I wanted this a little bit more of a softer look. As I'm putting on black I said I wanted a little bit more of a softer look. Softer for me. Ha -ha. Okay now we're going to try a few more of the products that I got from her. I did not buy everything. So, you know, you know, I just didn't buy everything. Now that I do have the under eyes done, I'm going to sweep off any fallout. I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution C4. HD finishing powder from Studio Makeup. Keep going. And we're going to use the Hula Light. For blush, I'm going to pick up the MAC Warm Soul. I'm going to pick up the lip liner Beeper from ColourPop. notice that these color pop things just like eh, they don't fit okay so I did pick up the color here from Smashbox Lada and this is always on petal metal lipstick rouge
My husband brought me waffles, orange juice, and coffee. And the waffles have a split strawberry on top. Okay, so this color is more of a rose color. I also picked up the Petal Metal in this color here. And so I get it and I'm like, I think I already have this color, but how could that be possible? So this one is the Smashbox Plus Vlada. This is an exact duplicate of the one that Kelly Strack loves to wear. Why? Because I bought the other one from Smashbox that Kelly Strack loves to wear because I thought it was beautiful. So I was like, all they did was put Vlada's name on this. Come on now. Come on now. It actually probably is only a hair off in color from the one that Kelly Strack always likes to use. So I was like, you know what? That's pretty shady. Smashbox, shame on you. Okay, so that gives a nice, really pretty color. It goes very well with the eyes. Now we're going to use the Petal Metal Highlighter. This one is in Gilded Rose. Love the packaging. Love, love, love this packaging. The packaging alone is kind of why I bought it. And look how pretty that is on the inside. Again, pretty much why I bought it. I'm a sucker for packaging. And you almost don't want to use them because they're just so stinking pretty. All right. Just a tad on the nose. Then I'm going to sweep away. leftover from Studio Makeup. My Scandinavia is about out. So we've got the Scandinavia. Basically this is it for the look. So really kind of like how pretty it is. It's um, this would be a good wedding type look if you like the roses. Again I was not expecting to like these rose colors as much as I do. Yeah. I kind of really like this. So it's very pretty. Again, the only thing that I would have changed on that, that palette is to have at least one more matte. I just didn't feel like they had enough mattes. But overall, I think this look ended up very, very pretty. So, all right, I'm going to go do my hair and you know the rest. I feel like I have like a Trump come over. Sometimes it does this Trumpy kind of come over. I don't know. I'm feeling Trump-esque. Yuck. No woman wants to look like Trump. That's all I gotta say. All right, so, <laughs> sorry I got off on a tangent there, but thank you so much for watching this video that using the Smash Block. Why can I say this? I cannot say it. Smash Box plus Vlada. It's too many, too many, it makes it too easy to confuse. Smashbox plus Vlada palette and collection and ooh, it's rose golden for sure. Absolutely loved it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like my Trump hair, please give it a thumbs down. But in all seriousness, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you and I hope you have a great one. Until next time.